One player with a controller in the hands of a winner. Very skilled to kill our competitors, eating them up like a cheap dinner. From NBA 2K to Tekken 8, you know the hate will create from being frustrated from taking L's, no debate. Win or lose, happy, angry, or sad, we here to vibe and have fun, so there's no need to feel bad. So grab a snack, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the channel. started walking. I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. My man Lee. Lee protected other people too. But he couldn't save everyone. Yeah, uh... You can never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily... Oh, this dead, bitch. And then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. That pissed me the fuck off. Side of the road. Yeah, we left that stupid bitch he though, me how off to the side of the road. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. Yeah, it was all your damn and fault. In the end, he was still teaching. Always keep moving. Did I remember? Uh, hold on, I gotta look at my walkthrough real quick. I know my phone is somewhere. Okay, always keep moving. That's what I. Okay, that's what I put down. And always keep moving, as much as you can. Move. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He asked me to shoot him, and I did. I met another group after that, broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. But the mom didn't. The mom has a name, you know. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done, I still decided we were better together. For AJ's sake, but like everything else, it wouldn't last. Yeah. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. And we spit in that nigga face for that too. I fought back, but I wasn't strong enough. Take that loogie in your face. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope. I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He is all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. Yeah, like the cycle. It's all gotta be the cycle. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Bet. I thought she was going to run. 
run over it. <laughs> I legit thought she was gonna run over the damn walker. That big ass noggin. AJ, my little savage. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. Well, deal with it, Clem. You're raising a savage I don't right now. Like goofball. Oh, really? I'm too what big for it. How about uh, shitbird? Would you prefer that? Would you prefer shitbird? <laughs> no. That's mean. You're a shitbird. Oh, I'm gonna smack the shit out you for that. Respect your elders. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. The magazine, look around, give him a toy. And we're really gonna make this man hungry. Here, practice your reading. Culinary stuff. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, yeah. On second thought, never mind. He had beans, It'll right? Make you hungrier. Vanilla beans. I ain't giving him no snack. That's my snack. Give him a toy. Hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem. I can't eat a toy. Oh, man. My feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Sassy. AJ ain't AJ when he's when he's hungry. Remember that. Take notes off of that Snickers commercial. Here you go. It's about all we got. I can't believe I gave this little motherfucker my snack. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. Clem's story, aftermath of the third season of the New Frontier. We gonna do it? Think so. Do what, little boy? What Looks you mean? Clear. We're doing it. Damn that bitch ass knife. Friendly ring bells. No, we ain't friendly. We just storming the place, find some food, hoping that, hoping that we're gonna end up eating. Get the toy. Pick up the canteen. Oh, we need that. We need water too. Ha haven't had clean water in day. What y'all? What y'all be drinking? Dirty water. In case something gets in our way. I guess in my way because I'm controlling Clem. We can't take no big ass tire though. All right. Let's find some food. We're gonna ring it anyway. Friendly, ring the bell. 
We're going to rank it just to rank it. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. If you go past their property. When you see that, uh, the orange circle means for consequences. Fuck it, we going. Everybody's probably dead anyway, so if I end up ringing the bell, I'm probably I'm definitely gonna end up lurking a lot more people out. So I'm not. It's a. I'm not gonna do that. AJ, stay back. We're gonna do the knee trick that Jane taught us. Bitch. Whee! It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Barely. Next, we get in there. I was about to say, okay. About to say, why can't uh run? Turns out I can. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun. Well, get you on the tire. tire. And someone pushes you so that you go really high. I don't. Oh, don't trust me to swing. Oh, I wanna try. I might just swing so hard so I can watch you fall off of it. Place. And don't trust me to put you on the swing because I might go all the way back and swing as hard so I can watch your ass fall off that tire. It's nice for the, it's nice for you to uh, run in this game because I try to do that on a uh, third season. They won't even allow me to do it. to grow things here is long gone. Obviously. Oh, we drinking water. I don't care how dirty it is. We do inside a new place. We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... I say we shoot everybody that, that's moving. We shoot everything that's walking. Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always... Find a way out. Find, find a, way a way out. out. That's right. wasn't always listening. He just repeated what I just said. That little motherfucker ain't listening. <sighs> huh. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? <sighs> Man, that monster's no, dead, dude. Is the only way Your choice is determine what he will become. Alright, babe. This one's locked. I'm gonna raise him to be a killer. 
security door. <laughs> Can't pry that open. I know yes, we can. We got a uh, we got a crowbar. We'll find something. I promise. Poison. Oh, they killed themselves. They overdosed themselves. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Inspect poison. Man, they poison. drunk. They drunk the whole. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together holding hands in their own home oh that's their Will home do we have a home? hell no we'll see. they drunk the whole damn poison to kill themselves I bet this opens the lock <sighs> that's not happening I mean did you not see what they try to do? do we get the key? no Mm, it's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. Yeah, I spoke to you, little ass head. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. Yeah, I'm about to say, can you put a little agent through it? Those are our options. It's dark in there. I can see that, AJ. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. You read in my mind, AJ. They used to be people. And as people, they ask to be left alone. Nah. They ain't people so no more. So what's best? Kill the couple. Send AJ inside. Oh, we killed him just in case. I'll get the key. Cause there could be more zombies behind the uh behind the thing. Woo! Did what you done did to the first thing. Good job. <sighs> Sorry, it had to go this way. You gotta do what you gotta do. Thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. And they just ran in here like you just saw his mom. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. You better be careful what you wish for. There's a lot of bad people, AJ. Be careful what you wish for. There must be good ones, too. You're good. Hey, what you looking at, AJ? Just a few. Remember what we said? We know this. Never hesitate. Never, Never hesitate. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. Look at, the, look at that shitty ass mattress. That mattress probably dirty. Not the Worst place to sleep. Well, simply not the best place to sleep either. Either. Oh, I got a baby. We didn't see a kid. No, no, we didn't. 
might be why they gave up. That makes sense. Hype shit. <sighs> Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. Ah! Hey, you still a little boy, bro. Fuck it. Fuck's right. You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. <sighs> you good? Uh-huh. Just hungry. Grumbly in your tumbly? <laughs> no, just regular hungry. No, speaking of hungry... I need to get something to eat. I'm hungry my damn self. I know there's some Tostino rolls in the goddamn way. fridge that I Gotta got. Keep searching in here. Damn, I can't go out. Damn, who that shitty ass man? Something under here. Door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. Damn. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. Oh, damn. It's rigged. <laughs> Damn, that's gonna cause a lot of noise. What the hell? AJ. Oh, yeah, I might as well just get the food, bruh. Lost. Damn. Y'all ain't even get the damn food, too. Fuck. We need to get back to the car. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. I bet. Damn. I even see that big headed ass bitch. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. But I should have listened to AJ early on. That's what I said. That's what I didn't do. Let's get to the car. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, Jay, what you doing standing in, man? What you doing standing in? Just help, help her sister out. Bitch, get the ass off my damn car. You just waited for them to do that. Clem, you gotta you gotta stay sharp. Ah, uh, the motherfucker has the keys. Damn. Alright, give me my goddamn knife. You ain't gonna do nothing with it. Oh damn! 
Damn. Ah! My damn time you do end up doing something. Come on, let me get the other hand. I ain't gonna take all the credit. Hey. Oh, that car is total now. Take him, bitch. So we gotta go on this rescue mission for AJ again. What is this place? A prison, a school prison. That's a good ass question. What is this damn place? Am I, like, am I in prison or something? Where the hell am I? Clem, we try to figure that shit out together. Hey yo, put them shits back in there. Well, we trying to figure out what the hell is going on, where we at, and where's AJ for goddamn sake? Well, at least somebody did uh, stitch me up though. <laughs> Examine that, examine that shitty ass box. Obviously, we need a chair for that. I do. Sharp enough. Pellet knife. We all good. Wait, I got I was locked in the room the whole time?
Wow. <laughs> Yo, the way that S look that says like that says strong. I remember I used to uh back in the days we used to uh make the S just like that when I was in elementary school. I remember that. That those were the days. Can't even spell suck right. And you can use that knife to open a door, Clem. Like, what you doing? Nothing over here. Should be something at least. I'm not entering the room yet. Disarm his bitch ass. Drop the knife now. I could use the sand. They wipe it to the side of his face. Is he half detailed? Hurt you. You got your boy, he's safe. If you want to see him again, you'll drop that knife. Now. I'm not fucking around. Bitch, I don't trust you. How about you lower yours go. first? Let's make a deal. You lower yours, I'll lower mine. On count of three. One, two, three. Here. Look, if we wanted to hurt you, we would have by now. But you Since didn't. Circumstances, I'll let this little standoff slide. But you only get one strike. Now, you're gonna behave so I can take you to see your boy? And hey, what the fuck you gonna do if I make it to three? Because if you really wanna fight, you're a little outnumbered. I give a fuck. I'll go out fighting then. AJ's okay? Take me to him, now. Jesus. You don't bend, do you? Nah, nigga, right. I don't know you, and you don't know so, me like so that. Nicely. Sorry about locking the door. All I know is that you could be a pedophile. We were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. I take precautions, you know, just in case. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. I'm Marlon. That's Tennessee. And, uh, call him Ten for short. Oh, uh, y'all don't even look He's like y'all. Y'all, y'all names do not fit with with y'all appearance. Talk much. Clementine. Ten should be Marlin, you should be ten. Come on. Let's go see your boy. Look at that before, go. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell happened to the bull side of his face. It is less detail, he got burned. Badly. But I'm assuming this is the school. So you've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? I mean, did you I not see, see what I did see, boy? Alone, out in the wild. I can't imagine what must have well, been you sound like. surprised, bro. <laughs> you sound surprised. I'm like, you think I can't handle myself? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Sorry. I didn't mean to come off that way. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. What's wrong with your hair, though? That's I want, that's what I wanted to ask. Seems like the developers fucked up your haircut for on purpose. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walker 
Lawrence were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. I knew Fuck. it! Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. Hey, yo, who the hell is this see the Chucky looking motherfucker staring at me like that? I've seen some rough Hey! Spots. Hey, you want to lose some more teeth? Keep staring. Boy? Was that really necessary? What's his problem? You're just new. We haven't seen anything like you in I have, ever. I have PTSD for people looking at me like that. What is this place? I don't know her. You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses, and a good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. No adults, though, no, seriously? Perfect camp. The kids are safe here. We make sure of it. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave, they die. There's less of us all around. I've got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. I'm just speculating, seeing how you threatened Willie. And then again, it's hard to survive too long these days without being Man, trouble. Me and AJ are angels. You got me and AJ all wrong, Marlon. A couple of pure angels. <laughs> Jury's still out on you, but an angel your boy is decidedly not. It's been a little terror since he arrived. Excuse me? Well, let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. Grandma? Get inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Grandma Get walker. Come on, Willie! Where's your damn weapon? Grandma walkers? Basically, that's every single walker in this damn game. Let's see what Lewis is looking like. with your big ass, so what? Don't ever disrespect my little savage. AJ, listen to me. That girl up there says you bit her. Is that true? Answer me, little boy. Answer me, AJ. Did you bite her? I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Still, no more bites. No more bites. You're not dead. 
That's good. Watch the kid for you. My name is AJ. Excuse me. I watched AJ for you. Hope he wasn't in trouble. Hope he didn't cause you any trouble. He was a bit of a handful. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Well, you let him know. Clear, little man. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no, you wasn't calming him down. Trust me on that. That music probably alert I'm him Lewis. to be able to just, like, hit Ruby. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry. I've got it. Who the hell is this fake-ass Willow Smith playing the, doing playing the fucking piano like that? Hell um, yeah. Double, um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Of course, it was raised by me. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. Boy, shut that up. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. Oh, good. Shot better than your bitch ass. I guarantee he's a better shot than you. Hey. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. You sound like a straight hope, bro. Oh my darling. Oh my darling. Oh my goodness. Oh Turn my that darling, trash off. Clementine, you are lost play something else, dog. Forever. Can you play something else? Dreadful sorry, Clementine. That was terrible. Don't ever <laughs> pop on a what piano do you think, again. AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Come on. This one right here. Eh, yeah, might as well give it a try. Be a better pianist than Willow Smith here. <laughs> Go ahead, AJ. Willow Smith's son. Press it. Now press this one. Yeah, like the piano will bite his and little ways. This one. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey. You seen Rosie? Nope. Who the fuck is that, you bitch? Got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> hate to ask who's just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. You don't want to talk to you like that? Y'all like the same age. Hey, Rosie! Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back? Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual the last couple of days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. What is it? Who the fuck is this bitch, yo? For real. Just saying. There's bitch, you got a problem? Some explanation. Are you insinuating something? You know, just speculating. Now speculate is nuts uh, in your mouth, bitch. Hello, Focus Clementine. on the goddamn cop situation. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls, they're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Are uh, you no? Well, don't mind Violet. She uh grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. Boy, get out my face, that corny shit. They all types of corny. My man said Cheryl's, calling that wood. I need you to that watch my name. back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. 
Don't ever say it like that. Sound like you about to experience death. Alright, good shit, Charles. Off. Is this the Grandma Walker that Marla was, talk, tell, was telling me about? Looks like they made it back to one piece. Come on, meet him halfway. Who the fuck is these random, random loom niggas, bro? This should like me too. Why the fuck he didn't get hit? Inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. Oh well. You know, you're not half bad considering the circumstances and all. Even though. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, even though I died on the Let's first try. these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Alright, come on. Come on. That swing, he should be down for good. Piece of shit. I hate this cleanup bullshit. Hey, but how'd you, idiot? Hey. Woo! Okay. Come on, get off me. Hey! What a big ass meatball dog! See you and Rosie are making friends. Oh, so that's Rosie. I had a bad experience with the dog once. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. That's Rosie. Damn it! That walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right. Oh, you just wasn't over. paying attention. Get inside. Oh, fucking starve. You're not the only one. Speaking of starve, I need to get my food. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. 
Safe don't talk to him like he's your really child or whatnot. Don't do that. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Oh shit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Yeah, you did well too, Lewis. Well, you did a good job after Even though you're corny Lewis. as hell, but... You're too kind. And accurate. You're falling right into his trap, you know. Trap, schmap. She's just speaking the God's honest. So am I. She needs to eat some weed. That's what she needs. And back to Rosie. I like I. The dog. The dog is Rosie. He's just screaming out Rosie's name like that's his like he that, like that's his chick or something. They're pretty good. With the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's good. Ooh. AJ. Hey, how'd that feel? <sighs> Get back to goddamn walls, huh? I'm so sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> it's jumpy, little guy. You gonna be okay? Looks like he's about to shit himself after that. He can't go around punching people into the water. Expect me to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird? That's gross. We should stop. Surviving. The same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, we probably would. I wouldn't. Whatever you say. I wouldn't. Gross. As long as I didn't you season really it. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But, but I don't think they like me. No way. I can just tell. They don't. You can prove them wrong, though. Hmm. If they don't, let's go show them how wrong they are. I think I'll stay here with the bird. Boy, man up. AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. And Do darkness. Do you want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Okay, why you... Okay. Why y'all think of a game plan of doing it? I need to get my food. I'm hungry.
not sure anyone would pledge to that. You'd be surprised. Mm. Just got it over my damn hand. There's that girl, I bet. I'll get yeah. over it. Wanna talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Man up. You just gotta start with a joke. Once she's laughing, apologize. Uh... Okay. Yes? Knock, knock. Who's there? At. At you. Bless you. Huh. Um, I'm sorry I bit you. You're forgiven. You're a weirdo. I did it. You sure did. Ruby look like she can make a mean apple pie. <laughs> what y'all weirdo was doing? Mm, yes. Redolent of rosemary, lemongrass, and possum meat. Now, if you can't find fresh possum in your neck of the woods, squirrel, skunk, or vole can work in a pinch. But there's nothing quite like possum. Every bite tells a story. We'll be right back with more stew with Lou. Please stop. I, I can't. I really can't. What the? Ho oh my goodness. Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me, Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat, or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Technically, when Omar's on, you just hear the bug it, just bug his head off. Mitch and Willie. Who names their kid Willie? <laughs> hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck now up we're monsters, yeah. Now we're doing that trick. <laughs> <laughs> that little dude said fuck. So? He's a kid like everybody else in this damn school. Hey, yo, where's that weird chick that likes to, uh, talk shit? They can see over the walls with that. Smart. Oh, 
we got the oh we got this wanna be ass emancipation proclamation ass writer let's go talk hello. to him hello oh hey it's you two clementine right yep a sim right what are you writing what happened today i chronicle everything hmm like a diary I try to think of them more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're going to have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it. That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? Uh, yeah, we so gotta, uh... Um, just sitting there. Let's just give it back to him. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. I mean, that's... This the, thing is the only place I get any real privacy around I mean, there. that's the nigga's privacy. Preserve you gotta I respect that. Now. I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. You know what? I regret... Now, I regret... Respecting his privacy for that bullshit. I really, I really regret it. This might look nice in our room. Where's Violet? I just realized that shit. Locked off. Kids must have not wanted anyone to get through there. We gotta, um, find a way. Well, not find a way, but just, like, talk to everybody so we can get in their good graces. Oh, there they go. I, I almost forgot about hey, 10. Knock it off, Tin. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. We did. We didn't. It wasn't my fault. Ten. You know, he really ought to be more careful. I was trying to help. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody, really. This is where we buried Ten Sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie, twins, lost in both about a year ago. Hmm. How they die, though? Paying respects. Should we do that, too? Maybe. I've never seen anyone do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. I thought the Thank flowers you. were going in our rooms. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlon. Okay. After all of the people that we ended up talking to, we got, we want to talk to Marlon now. Marlon and friends, you didn't even give her a name. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's okay. a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Yeah, he is pretty sweet. Not everybody sees that. I won't pay them no mind if you won't. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Hey, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! 
Stew's done. You guys earn your supper after all. I was about to say, don't get, don't get too harsh. Give us credit. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Why well, you acting like you've been one that made it? Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Oh damn, where's your proper etiquette? Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You did not even get sure? started, bro. You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Damn, already? Mm-hmm. Me too. Little boy already no. hungry. I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. I never the played only it. The game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. We'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. You act like you want to go on a date. What if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Oh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. Both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. So I lost. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. What about him? Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... No shit. He's happened? darker than me. His dad was killed by some asshole. And his mom? Long story. Sad story. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Hmm. Yeah, Marlon, we gotta talk about that <laughs> fucked up ass haircut. What's up with your haircut, Marlon? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? A she means it looks like a dead cat. <laughs> Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. No, the fuck Whatever you don't. You say. I say I look cool. No, you don't. That haircut make you look like a rat. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happens. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. Love for suckers. That stuff is for suckers. Just causes trouble. Amen. Yeah, but the best kind of trouble, right? I should have said I would do a boy I one. Would... Dude, I bet you're talking about gays. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? Oh, Lee, we always got to mention Lee. 
The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Right. Worst injury you ever witnessed. No, ever meet, meet someone famous? You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. Tommy. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Dunno. He never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball Tommy. sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Did you sound like a hater? Victory violence. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? You. That is fucked up. I don't know. You? Probably. Why probably? If you ask a morbid question, there's your morbid answer. Yeah, oh, bitch, shut up. Shit. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Oh, that is a crazy question. Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. <laughs> yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax, get some sleep. You're human for morning come find me we can talk about making this long term we can stay we can talk about it I mean to be fair Lewis didn't even know how Clem would felt if she would have asked like she don't he don't even know about Clem so I wouldn't be mad so there's no reason to be mad at Lewis full time because of that Only way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Oh, I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit, I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, what the fuck is twin that? sister. 
He was asking for more supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry, we didn't know. No, no, it's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting there for the past year, and no one's touched it. And what's the point of you needing it? AJ again? wants to play with it. It's it's fine. We should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that ten wanted it since it was his sister's note. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. What do you mean you don't? That's not even your stuff either. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sylvie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Minerva? Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. That's not like a drug <laughs> name. Minerva? She had the most amazing voice. I got a Real prescription bluesy. for Minerva. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. He was a drug called Minerva. That was a long time ago. After the... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Yeah, why did you even bring it up? I guess I just up? lost my train of thought. Do you mind us being here, though? Fuck the story. Do you mind us being here? In their room? Nah. It's... It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad, actually. I'm glad it's getting some use instead of just sitting around picking up dust. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. I mean, you fit right I'm in. I'm not exactly like a people person, you know. I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You came off strong, though. Yeah, you did kind of come off a little strong when we first met. It's not like I'm trying to be BFFs or whatever. Sorry. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. Are you gonna take the pen or something? Or a pencil? See ya. Yeah, see ya. Alright, get out of my room. I don't care about that damn story. Okay, Alvin Jr. Time for bed. Okay. Here. For me? For the wall. To make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. My little man, AJ. That's what I'm talking about. Hang AJ's draw. Okay, we're gonna How hang that. How about here? Collectibles can be signed, can be found in the room to decorate your room. Uh, AJ? AJ, where you at? Boy! Don't get your little ass off that damn floor! Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. The bed is way better. Trust me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? The door is super sturdy. That door is really sturdy. Trust me. I tried to get out earlier today. It wasn't easy. Oh, I don't know. If I stay here, no one can find me. They and I can keep guard and watch over me. They I still won't protect us. They still want to find you under the bed. Hey, what's gotten into you? 
please, Clem? It's not so bad down here. Bruh, give him a bed a chance. You looking crazy. I'll be okay, I promise. No, the fuck you won't. How you gonna wake up? You looking crazy underneath that bed. No, get your ass. No, no, give the bed a chance. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Looking a little, you looking crazy underneath that damn bed, boy. Hop in that bed. Get yourself comfortable. Huh. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Me too. I mean, I am Clem in the game. gonna let us stay right I guess we're gonna find out let's find his office I know where it is I'll show you up here come on Clem this way run hey AJ wait up it's in two. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Bro, you seeing colors all Who around. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. See. But what are they? They... These are the people who protected us. At least Where some of them. I've never seen one before. And they all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. <laughs> no, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Let the little nigga play with Clem, it. Clem, please. Would it be all right if you played with it a little longer? Just until we go? I guess. Oh, don't look at me with that sad ass face. Let AJ Good play choice. with him. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. What'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? <sighs> they got the Marcus Houston braids from Sister Sister. Marlon? No, they ain't Marlon. <sighs> Stay back. Said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. She told you once about it. I swear, it. Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. Oh, that's some bullshit. Sit, girl. Did you see Rosie end up biting the hell for that walker? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you, is all. Here, I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. Sorry. Might as well. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. 50%. It's okay. She 
it's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle, tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. That's one big ass dog, though. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, Dale, all the other adults failed her. Us behind and her subs. Oh, they some sorry ass wow. adults, man. Hey. What a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Well, technically, all the Both adults that build we are dead now. Yeah. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Train station? That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place is a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from the fountain too. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise it made. What about the river, though? It's out here. Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading up there in a bit. All right, bet, bet. All right, so we got the train station and the old shack. What about the hunting grounds, though? I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. What about the road, though? That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but we took them down. We wanted this place to be hard to find. That's smart, actually. So, uh, what about the traps, though? What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. It's like, it, it was, it's literally right in front of the school, though. And we had the greenhouse. The greenhouse? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. It had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. Plants are getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help one more time. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I won't let another mm. kid die. I know what it's like to lose a friend. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. But... Yeah. Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, watch him off when you get your shit up. sliced up. I'm the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. Well, so what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, uh, I just hope he shows up. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. 
both teams could use some extra hands. one I just saw something with Violet and Brody hunt with Lewis and his son. Hmm. Well, we're going with, we're going with the bitches. We're going to go fishing. Okay. Take this. Don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're going to find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? You think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. I bet. <sighs> You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. New York? You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much Bet she wasn't even time. there for you to be able I'll to see that happen. Car. No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. You ain't gonna be sick today. Of oh, one when we end up finding one that's I working. Wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. It'd be like in rural Georgia. Country. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted, New York. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. Heart of the city. You know, I think I'd drive through the heart of a city. Somewhere big, like New York. Yes! Same here! The buildings. I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, oh yeah. The biggest city in the world. I'm sure that's nice and safe. But shut your hating ass up. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Oh yeah. my goodness. I guess I sent her a little tired ass fish. back to that school. We got spears inside the shack. Maybe Come she on. need to learn how to not ahead. be miserable. I'll stay out here. Don't like this bitch, bruh. Where are those spears? That's why I love Clem. Me and her can relate to certain hey. things. One of them is going five. to New York. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? 
Girl, it wasn't your fault. I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. It wasn't your fault. These things happen. Still, I was the one that had to break the news to her. And ever since I did, she's become distant. We all used to be friends. I guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels about me? It's just been eating me up inside. That ain't my problem. Look, I, I don't think I should get involved. It sounds like you two should just talk it out yourselves. Oh, right. Yeah. That ain't my right. problem. Sorry, it was stupid of me to ask. It is. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. I'm not grabbing no fear. I'm going to talk to AJ real quick. And examine a lot of stuff around here. Just some old gardening supplies. Hey, you good, AJ? Hey, you. What you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? Ah. Uh, that could mean a lot of things, but... I'm pretty sure they're girlfriends. It means that they were a couple. What? Violet was Minnie's girlfriend. Oh. Love. So that's why she wasn't talking to her like that. Because she had feelings for uh, Minerva. Cool. There was only one Ready spear to get left. some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Get some stinky ass fish. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I didn't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Why? Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. I thought I was gonna get that. Hey, um, sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing it's someone better. else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. Understand. There are people I still miss too. It never really gets easier. Yeah. It really doesn't. Alright. Let's see if we're gonna catch one more. Man, that's that way that moves way too damn fast. Got it. For her. I can tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so. Oh, you know. I'm telling you what I told Brody. I don't want to get involved. Oh. Brody said something, huh? Never mind. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't care about that shit. That's 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 a y'all thing.
Damn, they moving too goddamn fast, ain't they? Ah, got it. I thought I didn't get it. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one. <laughs> Good job. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Ascent. Oh, yeah, just, see if they yo, have you just trash. Well, you gonna lead the way? Oh, uh, yeah. Follow me. It's not too far from here. Okay. those guys who knows Unlocked. when it comes to them someone cut it is that normal someone sabotaged this this isn't good a sam lewis <sighs> let's spread out maybe that'll help us find them all right you bet watch out for monsters They probably end up just playing around. Hmm. Empty. Inspect, inspect light. I guess it's Sim and Lewis checked this one already. Cigarette butts. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. Monster. Guys, over here. Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where the hell y'all been? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Bitch, you, Excuse me? Yeah, like, bitch, what the fuck you think you talking to like that? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food, you know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. Is, she, is the bitch off her meds or something? I'll take this all back to school. Maybe we can ration out something. Oh, we can... What do we do? Eat rocks? We can head down to the train station. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? No, little boy. Well, let's not find out. Hey, Where dang. else could we look? You have PTSD <sighs> about this. Train station. Yeah, fuck the safe zone. We're going to the train station. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. Yeah. Do certain things outside the box in order for us to survive and make it. That's what I like to hear. There, that 
that's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. Yeah, thanks to that explosion. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. Big ass reason. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. to get the walkers attention they do like to follow sound yeah so we need someone who is dumb and loud to uh attract their attention to climb up there i don't know how that would get us inside you look like you got an idea the noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers if one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it lewis i vote lewis yeah uh hold on i'd like to make an alternate suggestion come on Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Entertaining is another hey, word that comes to mind. You got this, bro. Charismatic. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Okay, now you're sipping you already, Lewis. I'm, I'm gonna need Fine, to cut that out. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them till I see you guys reach safe cover. Then I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck. Why are you coming after me for? Get out of here. I made too much noise now, Clem. Oh, we barely made it out of here, though. Really? Nobody knows that one? Now back to them, just what is he doing for? what they gotta do. Just give him some Come time. On. Come on. Fucking Lewis. Just give him a second. He may not have a second. You won't know him unless you won't be quiet and give him some time. These will be perfect. Clint, look. Wait. Them bags is I already packed up. Works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. They still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case.
Damn. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Wow. Keep it coming. I'm about to say, what? Like, weren't those bags already packed already? Hey. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. Don't fuck with me, though. Do not fuck with me. I'm not here to fuck with you. I'm here to get some food. Same as you. Hey, wasn't that the dude that was at the safe zone with the uh, cigarettes? You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already. You don't want to screw up my trash. Some effort to get inside. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. Butterfinger sometimes. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group? Bro, he is so squanty. You can actually you take him. the two outside, I'm thinking. Maybe more? Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Bullshit. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen, I don't know about that. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? Attack him! Agent, get down! <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. You are not listening to me, Merlin. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Take y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? Yeah, we got a lot of food bags. A sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. I appreciate it, appreciate it. Like, seriously, it's a lot. It doesn't seem effort, though. I ain't trying to be cocky. Lewis and Violet help, too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. You just have to say. You just have to say all of that. We'd have even more, 
but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. And I've dealt with that. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. It took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. <laughs> Look, I he don't know if he got it. out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> this is fucked. How could you be so stupid? Bitch, you better back the fuck off. Want to try stepping back, Brody? I'd recommend it. I'd recommend you getting your head out of your ass before we're all dead. I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took him outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means. Enough! He did, bro. What the it fuck is you talking about? There's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious. Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. Oh, damn. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Then pop off. What the fuck you gonna do? That man's crazy shit ain't gonna help. Ain't gonna Come intimidate on. nobody. I know I asked you for help. You did. But shit. God, nothing's easy. I mean, it's worth the risk, like. It was risky, but it was worth it. Like you said, we can't lose another kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say that. Yeah, don't be hypocritical. <clears throat> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. That food probably won't last everyone for like months or something. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I bet. I think I'll go too. It's my Funyuns over here anyway. See you later. Ass and Funyuns. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Yeah, like, you were there. Not sister. really. Dying's not scary. Well, I mean, brother, I meant. It's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. No, it's not. I doubt it. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. Unless I try you not get to focus eaten. on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me, but okay, AJ. <laughs> I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Bad people don't wind up there. I don't know. They might let in a few. I don't know about that. Like, Minnie and Sophie always like the bad guys in the stories. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Kind of like resurrection. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably look. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can 
Can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Yeah, whatever. Sure, why not? Then I make the ugly. Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. Man, yeah, you just made Clem it's look like yours. she's easy to draw. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. And like that Sophia mini story, it it, it sounded like it was it's not adding up. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down and then we'll see. Don't be going too crazy now. Are you full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet didn't look like she was having fun. But I did. Violet is your typical girl that has problems it's nice with someone. Not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too. Before the blood. That was that's where y'all was at before the uh this isn't season. the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. I don't, I don't trust these There's niggas games yet. games and the walls make it feel safe. I like it, but I'm not sure if I trust everyone. It's hard to trust people sometimes. Do you trust me? Always. Of course. My only family. There. You gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right. Give me a minute. All right, I'm gonna blow out the candle now. Oh. Oh! There. Flowers. You have to water flowers. I know. Don't forget. I won't. Good. I don't want them to die. Then won't you water them? So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. Hmm. Are you? Do you really know, or are you just saying that because I'm saying it? I'm not sleepy, <laughs> liar. Not sleeping my ass. Well, you gonna be sleepy now. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. Yeah, One time, on. bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. Yeah, now take your little ass to bed. Hey. <laughs> What's that? Shh. It's like pots of pants are being thrown over the place.
there's voices in the Oh, I can hear that. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. Nah, that sound like Brody. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. How many rounds you got in that revolver? Stay safe. Are you okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. <sighs> not sleeping tonight. I mean, might as well not. I mean, obviously, because you just woke out, woken up. By someone arguing. Brody. And I'm assuming it was Brody and Marlon that woke them up. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, that's a farther. Yeah, that was that was Marlin. Basement. It's locked from both sides. Damn it. We can't pick it. We have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. Yeah, they are being awfully too loud, so we gotta. Find out what the hell the noise. Find out what the noise is coming from. My brother was screaming too damn loud. Oh, uh, you don't need that candle now. According to the map, there should be another entrance to the basement around here. Find a cellar door. Is this it? Oh, I can hear them arguing. Oh, damn. I want to hear what the hell they're saying. That heavy ass brick gonna definitely break that padlock. <laughs> Damn, I can hit a base in there. See what the fuck y'all talking about now. Can you believe it? We don't even know for sure what led up here. She also said he got bit. Which means he was gonna bother us. We know he's not alone. Those bastards are back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You know that shit. No, you talking about you. What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. No, what you talking about? Deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. Didn't exactly sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. No, oh, fuck you. The man you met at the station, we got history. Brody! Don't listen to her. She's acting crazy. 
She gets this way sometimes. She's just got too many. Hey, don't be afraid, Bo Brody. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him oh. and his people. Brody. I thought they died. Sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. She oh. Because Marlin was so ashamed of what. Oh, you. Ooh. This nigga guilty. After that, you guilty. Damn. Shit. What have you done? Yeah, you bitch ass nigga. Super. Good, be okay. I promise. God damn it. Help. Jesus. I told you not Bitch, get the save. fuck away from her. Get away from her. Come on, Brody. Come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back. <sighs> okay. Stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere. I can't trust first you, First aid kit? What the fuck is a first aid kit going to do with that damn wound? It's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about driving through a city. New York. Looking up at all those huge buildings. New York. Lights. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Tell me now. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. Oh, you a bitch ass leader. A coward. Brody. <laughs> Damn. Oh, fuck. She died telling us the truth about what happened. Oh. What really happened. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? I don't know what you did. She's gonna turn. Marlin! Marlin, you son of a bitch! Don't do this! I'm sorry. I can't, I can't let you talk to the others. What a fucking coward. Like... Damn it. Marlin! You Anyone? run away from the responsibility AJ. that you done caused to save yourself to make it seem like I'm the one that did it. If I could find something really thin. Force it in there and lift up the latch. Marlon, you a straight up hoe for that. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. Uh. Brody? You going, girl? Where you at? Work. Ruler. <laughs> hey. Oh. Fuck up out of here. Oh my goodness. Get that ruler. Oh shit. Come on, come on. Oh! Oh, she's right behind you! Oh, shit. 
shit. That flashlight, y'all do what you gotta do. Uh. Bam. Bam. One more time. One more time for AJ. One more time to get the tooth out. Do what you gotta do. Wow. Now it's time for us to expose that coward. Where is one AJ? Put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me. Where is she? She's in the basement. She murdered Brody. Oh, you. Oh, damn, you want to lie on me now? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Get the story straight, bitch. Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Now think about this for a second. If we all ended up just going out and just, you know, just get everything we need for the group and all that, why why would it make sense for me to be able to kill Brody? Well, at, well, Clem killing Brody. That don't make no sense once you think about it. Like... AJ, pay attention. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. Why would uh Clem end up helping y'all get the food back and whatnot, and then the next minute he, he, she killed Brody? And how Marlon act? Like, we didn't like. They saved their lives. When anyone else would have killed doesn't make any sense. Fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us. Guns being pulled and murder. Well, fuck them. Fuck, Marlin. Jesus Christ. You shoot me, and what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? He won't do it because he needs us alive. Shut up. Brody told me Marlin was going to give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Wait. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine. Let her talk. Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her. Oh, come the fuck up. Anybody that acts like that knows that they're guilty. These raiders because Clem insisted they go out there. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. First thing she did was attack you, Ten. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? What friend, bitch? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. I'm talking about it more. Fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. You have to believe me. You don't. You met her like two days ago. I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. I know you ain't this weak, girl. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak. Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what would Minnie want you to do? She was my friend, too. And so was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. Hey, he'll give you away, too. You were there that day those raiders came? You would have been 
abandoned you too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! <laughs> Why would be difficult? Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. Yeah. Now I got everybody on my side now. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all. Do you? I'm trying to protect you! How am I waving a damn gun around? All of you! Every fucking one of you! How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. They came back. I do it again. Excuse wow. me. Wow. I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I see that. I had to Part save of a the coward. rest of you. Okay. You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. Oh, there you hey, go. Trusted you. He's a coward, that's why. Easy, because he's a coward. I wanted to get them stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was just too afraid. Coward. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. You're pathetic. That's fuck yeah. You did all of that so you could protect yourself, basically. Isn't true. Well, shut the fuck no, up. It is. We were just the only one who couldn't see it. You little bitch. That's why. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You never have to see me again. No, we don't trust you. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. You are a prisoner. Nope, we ain't going. If you really think. Oh shit! Uh, AJ! Oh shit! What? I didn't hesitate. That's not what I meant! What I mean by that? God damn, AJ Steve. Oh. Uh.
Yeah, that was a that was a W ass uh, episode to start off with the fourth season. 